I am Matilda and I am a certified clinical aromatherapist. I'm also a trainer for internationally accredited aromatherapy courses. So if you are interested in pursuing aromatherapy professionally or would like to deepen your knowledge in this area, you can refer to the link to my courses in the description down below to get more information on the courses that I teach. This channel is set up to empower women in health and wealth. So if you are interested in the topics that I'm sharing in this channel, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to be notified of all future videos. Today, I'm going to share with you what are some of the uses and benefits of orange essential oil. If you like this video that you're watching, I would appreciate it if you could smash the like button and share it with your friends. Rich in limonene with about 85-96% to 96 of limonene, which has been extensively studied in more than 50 clinical studies with regards to its ability to combat tumor growth, orange oil also has immune-stimulating and antioxidant properties. If you are using therapeutic-grade or food-grade orange essential oil, you can use it in your favorite recipes that call for orange flavoring, such as orange cake and desserts. Now let us take a look at what are some of the uses and benefits of orange essential oil. First and foremost, orange essential oil is high in D-limonene. Orange essential oil contains up to 90% of D-limonene, which is a monoterpene that has strong chemopreventive properties. And it has been shown to reduce tumor growth in many animal studies. Research suggests that monoterpenes block memory, skin, liver, lung, pancreas, and stomach cancers. Now let's take a look at this um, study over here. So over in this um, study, it actually says that citrus peels prevent cancer. Let us take a look at the conclusion, which says that our results encourage the use of citrus peels, which is wasted in huge amounts as cancer preventive food additives and as anti-cancer agents. So what are some of the other citrus peels other than orange? Now, um, I have actually shared in my other video on lemon essential oil that lemon contains um, very high levels of D-limonene as well. So you can also take a look at um, my video on lemon essential oil after you finish this video. So what are some of the citrus fruits, you know, that actually contains uh, D-limonene? So we have orange, lemon, grapefruit, tangerine, and lime. So among all these citrus fruits, let us take a look at which are the ones that contain one of the most um, D-limonene. So as we can see over here, tangerine, grapefruit, orange, they all share um, more or less the same amount of um, D-limonene um, with grapefruit and tangerine containing slightly more than orange. And uh, lemon contains slightly less than orange, although it does contain quite a lot as well, um, followed by lime essential oil but even for lime essential oil which contains one of the least amount of the limonene among all these fruits um it still contains you know quite a substantial amount of the limonene with probably 40 to 50 percent uh, of the limonene in it so with that we can use all these citrus fruit oils um, as an immune stimulant so you can use orange essential oil um, for its immune stimulating properties to help strengthen our immune system. We can also use orange essential oil to ease our digestive system if we have any digestive discomfort. Orange essential oil can also be known as a happy oil. It has this um, ability to boost our moods. All right. So over here, we have this um, study that we can take a look at. The study um, talks about the antidepressant-like effect of citrus sinensis. So citrus sinensis is the Latin name of the orange essential oil that we're talking about over here. It says that the study indicates that the improvements in neuroendocrine, neurotropic, and monoaminergic systems are related to the antidepressant effects of limonene. So because of um, the high content of limonene, um, inhaling limonene um, actually helps, you know, to alleviate that depressive behavior in people. So we can actually use orange essential oil as a mood booster as well. Um, so besides its antidepressive like effect, orange essential oils is also studied to um, calm anxious feelings. So over here um, is a study for the treatment of anxiety for children um, during dental treatment. Um, there are 30 children who participated in this um, study um, when they were undergoing um, dental treatment. And so um, what is the conclusion? The conclusion says that it seems that the use of aromatherapy with natural essential oil of orange could actually reduce salivary cortisol and pulse rate due to child anxiety state. Next, we can also use orange essential oil to promote deeper sleep. 
So recently, I actually like um, diffusing a mixture of five drops of orange essential oil with five drops of lavender oil, and I feel that you know I sleep so much better. Like um, I can sleep a lot deeper, and um, when I wake up, I actually wake up very much more refreshed. Because sometimes when we when we sleep. Um, even though we don't have problems falling asleep, but you wake up still feeling very tired, as though you didn't really sleep much. So I think diffusing this blend of orange essential oil and lavender essential oil actually helps to promote deep sleep. You know, to give us um, quality sleep at night. Next, we can also use orange essential oil for water retention. Of course, besides orange essential oil, there are other oils that we can also use for water retention, like um, tangerine and grapefruit. They are also great choices if you have water retention problems. Um, the other one is cypress. So how do you use um, orange essential oil for water retention problems? You can actually apply it topically on affected areas. Another way to use orange essential oil will be in our skincare. So orange essential oil is actually very effective um, for people who have oily skin type, acne prone skin, um, blemishes. However, because orange essential oil is photosensitive, um, I do not recommend that you use it during the day. Um, you can actually use it um, at night maybe you can add um, a few drops of orange essential oil to your toner or to your cleanser um, or to your moisturizer or serum but do remember that if you are going to mix it with your personal care products do ensure that whatever personal care products um, that you're adding essential oils to you have to ensure that it is chemical free however um, for those of you who have normal skin type or if your skin type tends to be um, dry, then I do not recommend using orange essential oil. Orange essential oil also has antimicrobial properties. Last but not least, one of the usage of orange essential oil that is not so well known is that it can also repel insects. So let's take a look at this study over here. Over in this study, it talks about the insecticidal and biochemical activity of essential oil from citrus sinensis peel, which is the um, orange peel. And um, what's the conclusion? The conclusion says that this study indicates that C. sinensis essential oil and its constituents have potential to be developed into botanical pesticide. Wow. So if you want to um, find out more about um, all these studies, you can actually go check them out at PubMed or you can do your own independent research from other sources. Now that you know all the benefits of orange essential oil, it's time for us to learn about what are some of the precautions that we need to take um, when using orange essential oil for ourselves and also um, when we are sharing about it to our friends and family. Generally, orange is a very safe oil to use, even for babies. However, you need to take note that orange essential oil is a photosensitive oil. So do not apply it to your skin and expose it to sunlight um, within 12 hours of use. And for young kids, it is safest to just simply diffuse orange essential oil or apply it diluted on the bottoms of their feet. Like lemon essential oil, orange essential oil is one of the cheapest oil that we can get our hands on. And with so many great users and being such a safe oil to use as well there's no reason why you shouldn't start using orange essential oil today that's all i have to share about orange essential oil today thank you for watching and um, i really appreciate you for being here if you like this video that you're watching do smash the like button and share it with your friends have a good day a great week ahead and don't forget to check out my other videos